Set for years. Oh, that's, that's shit. Man. See how rusty the power valve is? Yeah. Got some trouble. That one's all work. You don't have a rear squirter. Since I've had the car, I've been running 110. I don't know what he was running before, and I know the car sat for all those years, just sitting with whatever was in it. It's pretty cruddy. I mean, it's not horrible. It's just it's got a lot of rust in there. Quarter works. Crusty. <laughs> well, feel it. Just, just take it, pull it out, and turn it. Yeah. You feel a grittiness in there? Yeah, yeah. they're junk. I mean, they're not junk, but they're... No, not dirty as junk. Shit. I just eyeball set the bowl. I just set it. I got it a little below where it was going to be. See, there's a sight deal over there. Usually the gas hangs up about right there. It'll be close. Tuning the carburetor, yes, at the whirlpools. Dude, you got power bells in both sides. You know where don't do that? No, we block off the rears. I don't know if I got a block off the bowl. I don't know why anybody would put a fucking power bell in the back. Put it down a race car. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure somebody out there will argue with me over that too. The worst, stupidest thing you could ever do is put power valve in the back. Holy shit, look at how crusty all that is. <laughs> look at all the rust on it. I mean, that thing, you feel how it moves? Yeah. I feel that one. That one works. It doesn't move. Yeah, that's all it's supposed to move. That one's moving too. <laughs> that one's moving too much. All right. So, yeah. so that one's popped is what it is. Is that when it backfired? You think? It could have been done for. Well, it could have been done a long time ago. All right. Well, I wasn't expecting that. Uh, that the sonic blasting thing. We'll clean them up the best we can. Otherwise, it it, it needs to go up again. As long as all the passages are good, we're good, but I'm guessing that front power belt is probably shit too. Best we can go, we're going to put power belt left once we kill it. Yeah, that extra turn that on late because I was trying to put the power belt in the wrong side. <laughs> Don't, I'm, I can edit for sure. It's going to be speedy footage, not an outsider. Alright, um, 87. I want to go eight up, so man, give me, dig me out some 95s. Actually, we're going to go down a couple jets, so I always start with some 93s. Or 93s, so that'll only be up six. Is there 92s in there? There's supposed to be 92s next to it. Yeah. This thing was running so fat, I want It's probably running fat because the power bells were shit, but. 
always. No matter if you know they're brand new or not. Whoa, bro. You don't want no shit, man. The bolts are shitty. Right <laughs> Even the bolts are crusted up. This compared to <laughs> gasket's broke. Just double gasketed at that. Got two of them on there. Which ain't supposed to be. Go to that one, throw that fucker away. And you can just take a screw. Just snug it in. There's not actual threads in there. It just kind of goes into the aluminum. Always holding. Have it wet. Spit on it. Spin it in. Get it out. What you do is just put your thumb on it. See how high that is? I'll, I'm gonna put it down and I'm gonna have you do it. So it kind of feel where it's at. So just kind of light pressure, just kind of hold it and then just screw it in. You'll feel it pushing down on it. Don't, don't have any force on it though. Just let it push it. It's on there. And that's how you adjust it. If it when it's on the car, and the car is running. What you do is you crack this loose and then you turn this to just the float up and back. So, but for now, we are acceptable. Just tight. All right. So, what did I say we were going to do? 84s. We did 92 in the back. Yeah, so I'll be an 8 split. I need a big blade screwdriver because it's got a cross all the way across so the way it can fuck up the jets. Or you can get a jet tool. I have a jet tool, but as you notice, what do I use? <laughs> big screwdriver. Okay, so since we took this apart, these probably will come off now. So, which is easier. You just take it off, you can go do the jets over here and then put it back on. All you gotta do is make sure your gaskets look good. That what they'll they'll look a little like. See how that one's getting a little tattered? Yeah. But they'll get real tattered, or if they're cracked or busted, mm -hmm. you gotta change it. Otherwise, it's pretty simple. They got pins. Mm -hmm. They just sit in the pins. Okay. I mean, it's literally you could do it blindfolded, and it'll mm -hmm. just. And then, it, what you do is you hold that up, pull that down. And once it's underneath, you can feel it. It'll it'll just sit there. And I think it's pretty good. Every time you have these off, check the screws. These are all just a that one was loose. That one was loose. That one was more loose. I'm just horrible about checking screws, especially ones that go into the motor. Yeah, we got all kinds of shit we can do to this carburetor. It's got it's only got 30 cc pumps on it. You got little shooters in it. You know these pumps. That's a 50 cc. See how much bigger it is? Yeah. So you got them. You got little shooters. Them are only 31s that are in there. So, I mean, there's a lot of upgrade you could do to that carb yet. Um, Two and a half out. Oh. That's a half, that's one quarter. They didn't even, they barely had them out. It's 
So that's a great spot to start. Well, that's not good. I hope it wasn't sucked down into the manifold. So it looks like I have three gaskets and I have three stickers, so nothing got sucked down into the manifold. Okay guys, I set the camera up. I'm just gonna turn on the power and fire up the fuel pump and see if I got any leaks. Alright, round two. 